Okay, you are doing an excellent job. Okay, and so now we're on example four in chapter one. Uh, so example 1.4, it says compute the area of a trapezoid with a height of two and bases of four and seven. Uh, and remember that the area of a trapezoid is given by the uh, formula one half H B1 plus B2. Okay, and using those values of height and base, uh, the answer we should get is 11. Okay, so let's go over to MATLAB and do it. Okay, so now I have MATLAB open and I am going to start by clearing my command window. Uh, all I have stored in my workspace is answer, uh, and so I'll just leave it there. And so first thing I'll do in solving this problem is we have a height of two and bases of four and seven. I'll go ahead and I will assign those to variables so that when I write my final expression, I can write an expression that looks more like the mathematical uh, equation as written. So I have a height of two. Uh, and let's say B1 is 4, uh, and B2 is 7. Okay. Uh, and so again, just like in the other examples, remember these are variable assignments. And so what I'm looking at is the quantity on the right-hand side. Right. So this is just a single value on the right-hand side of my uh, equal sign, but it could be any uh, expression. Uh, and in a variable assignment, MATLAB's first going to look at the right-hand side of the parentheses, evaluate what's on the right-hand side, and then store that to the target. Okay. Excellent. So now I have my height and base is stored to variables. So now I can go ahead and uh, calculate my area. Maybe I want to store it to variable area. And so area would be equal to uh, 1 over 2. Okay. Out of habit, I'll put in parentheses. You could use 0 0.5 would be just as good, times h. Uh, times b1 plus b2, right? and I get an answer of 11. Okay, in the interest of making mistakes, um, let's try and delete this multiplication sign. So, what if I was trying to make it look really like the equation, and I instead wrote this as h times b1 or h b1 plus b2, right? And so, mathematical notation: when I have two quantities uh, kissing like this, right, that means that it's actually h times that quantity. But not so fast, not in MATLAB. Kissing like this would either mean h is a function, and I want to pass this expression or that value to the, um, the function, or in this case, since h is already a variable that's defined, what MATLAB's interpreting this as, you know, it's going to compute b1 plus b7, or b1 plus b2, which is um, 11, and it's going to assign or is going to try and look at the 11th element of h. Okay, h is only a scalar, it's one by one, uh, so looking at the 11th element of h isn't going to make much sense, and so we get this error that we exceed uh, array bounds. That might not make too much sense to you, but you know the error message means that you know in this case I need to add a multiplication sign. 